Now these two might look a little bit the same, but they couldn't be more different. I'm here of course with the Fujifilm Instax Mini Evo and Instax Mini 40. Now while the Mini 40 is really like this retro camera without any of the modern features or even a USB cable, the Instax Mini Evo or Evo is like this really modern powerhouse. So I want to compare like the photos they produce and like the features. So let's get into it. So first let's look at the difference in picture quality here. This is the one from the Instax Mini 40 and it has like this cool bokeh from it's a summer day and a summer sun. So it really has this classic type of feel here. And then this one is the one from the Instax Mini Evo and it even has more of a bokeh but still the colors are quite the same. So let's see these side by side. So left is Instax Mini 40 and right is Instax Mini Evo. So I like the colors of the Mini Evo just a little bit better. And you also have a lot of options for shooting right in the menu of the Instax Mini Evo, while the Mini 40 is just a point and shoot camera without any options. So that could be the difference here as well. Now next up are all of the features. So the Instax Mini 40, it has a large flash right here, the largest of any I've tested. It has a little selfie mirror right here, which the Mini Evo has as well, but right on the top there. But the uh, coolest thing here is the integrated lens cover. So if you want to turn it on, just pull that lens cover out and then that will automatically turn on the uh, Mini 40. And you can start shooting and it's just a point and click, no nonsense camera. It doesn't have any additional features, just a button to click to make the photo and to print it out. It's pretty heavy duty here. It's also a little bit larger and you have like this lanyard for your wrist so you don't drop it. And this is where the picture comes out. No nonsense, just a viewfinder here where you can look at and then point and click and make your picture. It also has an indicator here how much pictures you have left. So it starts with a pack of 10 and now I have nine left. So that's pretty cool as well. And the Insex Mini Evo, well, it couldn't be different, more different. So let me flip that over and you can immediately see this is, uh, the, well, the only instant camera I've tested and that I know of that has an LCD camera and uh, the option to choose which images you want to print. So you can point and shoot and then save your images to the micro SD card and then you can instantly print it by pulling on the print lever right here. So that will print the photo, photo or you can go through your images and select the best one. So this also helps with like choosing which picture you want to take and you want to print out. So this is really a much more advanced camera here. It also has a menu with a lot of settings for the image quality and for the setting you're in for taking the photo. So this is really a very advanced camera. So those are the main differences between the Instax Mini Evo, which is a lot smaller, but still has this retro-like feel, even though it has these modern features and the uh, Instax Mini 40, which is really a retro camera. And I hope this has helped you to make your choice.